Hello everyone and welcome to another update video from Altrady. In this update we've made a major change to our layout system. Previously we had two different layout types, which is flexible and fixed, but now we've combined the two into one layout system. This means that you can now have the full screen, full height widgets where they automatically adjust to the height of your screen with the ability to place the widgets wherever you want them. So if you were previously on the fixed layout setting, then you had the option for simple and advanced. But what if you want to start from the simple and make your own layout? For example, I want to have the order book widget and the trade widget visible as well. I can go over to the widgets part and I can click on trades and order book. By default, they will be added to the drawer, but you can easily rearrange them by dragging the trades widget onto a new location. So for example, if I want it on the right side of the chart, I can just drop it right here and you can see with the indication of where it's going to be. And I can do the same with the order book. So I can put it next to the chart again or at below the trades or above the trades. And I can also adjust the size. And if I want to see a little bit more of the order book, I can also drag this down. We also have the option to put the order book in the side drawer. And we can do the same for the trades. So now, if we go over to the side drawer, we can see that the order book is right here. And we can make it a little bit bigger so that we can see all the fields. And we can do the same for the trades. The list of markets is also added to the side drawer by default, and you can make it a little bit bigger to see all the four fields. And every time that you open and close it, it will remember the size. When you are happy with your layout, you can go over to the layout part and you can click on the create layout. Now you have your new layout saved and anytime that you make changes, they will be automatically saved. So for example, if I want to add the trades back here, it is now saved. When you reload Altrady, the first tab in a widget will be selected. So if you want to make the alerts a default, all you have to do is rearrange the order. And now every time that I reload, the alerts widget will be presented first. We've also made it easier for people to share their layouts. So when we click on the three dots right here, we can click on share. This will create a link that you can use to share with others. So when people click on this link, your layout will automatically be loaded into their terminal. You can also download the file and let the user upload it themselves. Importing it can be either via the link, via the JSON file, or you can convert one of your old layouts. Now, if you're like me and you trade on a different screen size, when you're at your office, for example, you have a 4K screen, or when you're sitting on the sofa with your laptop, you have different screen sizes and you might have different layout needs. For example, on a large screen, I don't mind having the order book and trade widget visible at all time. I have enough visible space to see the chart and all the other widgets. So you can make two layouts like this and then switch between them. But we thought it would be easier if the layout was able to switch on its own based on the screen size that you have. So what you can do is you can go over to the layouts, click on the three dots and set default for this screen. What this means is that when you have this screen size available, this layout will automatically be selected. Now I've already set one up for my 4K screen. So when I switch to my 4K screen, the system automatically detects that I've switched and it will load this layout. So this makes it really easy to set up your layouts for the specific size of your screen. The other thing that we've added in this release is trendline alerts. Trendline alerts are available in the Essential and Premium package, and they allow you to give you an alert when the price breaks through a trendline. So we all know the previous price alert, which would be on a horizontal line. So for example, with support and resistance, we can set alerts when the price breaks through a horizontal line. But sometimes you want to know when the price breaks through a trend, and trends, as we know, can be up or down. So for example, if I draw this trend line, what if I want to be notified when the price goes below this one? 
Well, I can click on this little bell icon and that converts this trend line into a trend line alert. If I click save, you can now see it's converted to the alert. If I want to make changes to my trend line alert, I can click on it, drag it down and hit save. If I want to remove the trend line alert, I can click on it again and then delete the line. Another big change that we made in this release is that the account selection is now tied to the tab. What this means that is that if I change tabs and I select the account, then in the previous version, the account selection would be changed for all tabs. But now in this version, the account selection is tied to the tab itself. So if I switch back to this tab, you can see that the other account is now selected. And if I move back, then my paper trading account is selected again. So this is a great way to manage multiple SOP accounts on the same exchange within different tabs. Another feature that we added is in the expiration part in the trade form. So if we go over to the expirations, you can now see that they are arranged a little bit different. And we now have the start position at that we had before with a price. But now we've also added the time part. What this means is that you can set a time part for when you want the position to be active. This means that the position will not be placed on the exchange until this time is reached. So for example, if you want to trade on the trend lines where there's a specific time on where the, the trend line gets hit by a candle. So for example, here it takes eight days. What if I want to do another eight days? Then the start time will be roughly around here. So I can take the time pencil and select it there. So this means that if the price moves to this time, then we want to enter the trade. And we could set up, for example, a buy order just below the trend line. We can of course combine this with the price selection so that we can only place the order if the price is also reached. And we can make that an end and an or condition, which means that if it's on or, then either one will trigger the start. So if the price moves down, then the order will be placed. If the time is reached, the order will be placed. If I change it to end, then only if the price is below this price and if the time is behind this one, then the position will be created. If not, the position will remain pending. You can combine it with the cancel based on the price. So if the price moves up, and you're not interested in this position anymore, then you can use the price indicator to cancel the position. And you can do the same for a time. So this allows you to have a position with open orders only during this time window. And if any of these conditions is triggered, then the position is canceled and removed. The new layout system has also been added to the multi-charge view. So for example, if we start with three charts, then we can add some markets for these. And again, we can easily change the layout to the way that we want to see them. We can make the size changes and also have the option for full screen. So if I want to zoom in one chart, I can easily do that without having to go to the trading terminal. All right, that's it for this release. Please let us know in the comments what you think of this, and we can continue to improve our software so that it stays the trading tool that you will use for all your trading. And then I hope to see you again on the next release video.